pizza. Yes. <laughs> it's gone. No. Oh, free drinks <laughs> over there. <laughs> <laughs> free drinks to wash down your pizza. <laughs> well, you, you, you did 25 pizzas in three seconds almost. <laughs> um, I guess that means you're here for us. If everybody could just sit down, we're doing a quick highlights of the day uh, yes. little talk show. Yes. Highlights are important. Let, let, let's see what happened today, because we have lovely pictures of what happened today. Yeah, and, and come stay So here. as you take it's your nice. seats, you'll see on the big screen coming up all the highlights of today. Feel free to take the bottle back with you to your seat. Make a friend. Take some cups. Yeah, Pour exactly. other people drinks. <laughs> it's a family a, affair here. So it's a very small little party where, you know, the fun starts when the pizza runs out, right? Take a bottle, grab some cups, make some friends, sit together. <laughs> So, just, just very quickly, how was your day? <laughs> hey, I like that. That's the sound, I that's like the that. sound. Where's the catch box? There it is. Let me. No. This is the best part. We're going, to, we're going to go really quickly. You have to pay attention because you get hurt if you don't. I'm going to throw it <laughs> and whoever catches it. No. Best moment of today. Anyway, here it is, here it is. Pay attention, pay attention. Woo! Yes. Okay, what was the best nice moment catch. of your day? <laughs> a speaker, a moment, a game, whatever. Did you get started at boot camp? <laughs> Congrats. Throw it that way, that way, that way. Yeah, that way. Oh, there you go. It's for you. Pick it up. <laughs> what was the very best moment of this day? What speaker did you like? Workshop? Doesn't matter. What? The, the romance that we just had. Ah, yes. Tim, Excellent let's choice. There. Favorite moment of the day. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now over there, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, pass it on over. People there on the left, pay attention. Your pizza will be thrown out of your. Yes! Oh. Woo! Catch box with pizza. What? Yes! <laughs> be <laughs> best moment of your day? Uh, definitely. The pizza, no. <laughs> no I, uh, actually, I really like the previous uh, presentation here in the main stage. It was really good. Yeah. Ooh, Tim. So Tim, you're on, yeah. you're on fire tonight. Yes. That's too, that's too. He's busy. He's awesome. Busy. awesome. He's, he's being romantic. He's chatting people up. Yes. <laughs> Maybe one more there in the front. People front row. We like people who sit in the front row. They're, they're dedicated people. Uh, be careful. Watch, guard your pizza. <laughs> Catch with the other hand. Okay, front row on the left. Pay attention. Yes, go ahead. People, pay attention to this. <laughs> it's a very soft box, luckily. Oh, it's for you. What was the best <laughs> moment of your day? What was the best moment of your day? Ah, catching the catch box. Uh, just, what was the worst moment of your day? Even Getting hit in the catch box. <laughs> Not knowing what to say when 80 people are listening to you. Okay, we forgive you. What was the best moment of your day? All right, Tim got a ton of votes. The main stage was on fire today. Uh, I would say one of the best moments was hearing from uh, Jared. Jared. Jared Ficklin, he yes. He was awesome, he was awesome. Yeah. He was awesome. Oh, fans over there. I yes. like that. Yes. The Jared squad was here too in the front. Yeah. What was yours? Well, you know, we had an artificial intelligence talk where it started with 12, 12 people. Then I feel embarrassed for the speaker because, you know, they have such great stories. And then slowly it started building up. And then, and then you realize, oh, there's like 100 people really attentively listening and understanding. And, you know, I like that. Yeah. But I'm, I'm a speaker person, so, you know. I get it. Probably get the best it. moment of the day is the challenges and the workshops and the drones and the... Anyway. There was a lot of good stuff. Day three was a great day. We are going to have two guests of our day on stage. And, um, well, two acts, actually. The first one uh, is Timothy Mazzullo and Gregory Gage. Backyard Brains, where are you? Come join us here on stage, because they did something really cool today. Gregory? Timothy? Yes? Where are you? Playing out there with the cockroaches? <laughs> oh, they're there, they're there, they're there. Oh, we wait for you. Yes, quite possibly. <laughs> Maybe they were playing with the cockroaches. Okay, who, who was in their session this morning? Nice. One, two. What did you think? Awesome. Awesome, exactly. Awesome. Yeah, I, I, I hate using the word awesome, oh, but yes. this was... Awesome. Bring it on. Can we run the first video, please? Okay. 
Can we run the first video? For those of you who missed out on the backyard brain. With sound if there is sound. Uh, this is no sound. Oh, this has no sound. Yeah. What is happening over there? Uh, this is... This is the world's first commercially available cyborg in the history you, you, of mankind. You can actually see it here, so you can look here and then they, oh, okay. they can see you. Yeah. Uh, and then what we're doing is we're connecting a backpack uh, to the antennas. We're stimulating the antennas uh, so that the nerves are firing. And, they, and the cockroach thinks you're touching it, so that you can actually take your cockroach out for a walk uh, like, you wa like you've always wanted to do. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Yeah, so that's that what we, yeah, so we'll, that's what we do. We're we're neuroscientists, and we we take uh, sort of advanced uh, graduate level neuroscience tools and make them available for uh, K through 12 to teach you about things like this that are uh, uh, sort of used in cochlear implants or for deep brain stimulation for treating Parkinson's. Uh, and so, in order to get kids access to those tools, uh, we make things like the RoboRoach so that you could actually understand what the parameters are when you go into the doctors and you get them set. Very and cool, very cool. This, why, this actually, yeah. why cockroaches? Uh, because they're flat and they can ha carry large loads. They're designed <laughs> to have back electronic backpacks on them. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was really touched because I, I uh, witnessed the presentation. I really touched it. First you started to explain, okay, we put it in cold water because we don't know if they have pain, but they could have pain, so we put them in cold water. And then you cut off the leg and you say, <laughs> but it grows back on. So you know, there's such... Empathy for the cockroach. Yeah, I mean, no. I was impressed. We've done, much for, we've done much for cockroach suffering in this world to bring awareness of these little creatures that are in our kitchens and our living rooms at night. There's a huge industry of people out there that are going to uh, pay money to get them killed or get them out of their house. So we're yes. the opposite. We, we, we invite them into our house. How, how, I mean, really, how did you get them here? Were they in your suitcase? In, in uh, I, I, I can't hear you that well. Uh, so <laughs> <laughs> you got you yeah, them so through customs? Yeah, I mean, the they, some, somehow they, they, they arrived, uh, that's all I can say, I can't remember. <laughs> if, if I understand correctly, you can also do a little act you did with the audience before. Yeah, we did, we did do that. I think Tim's got some uh, setup over here. Uh, you're talking about for, the, for working with humans instead of working with cockroaches. So anybody want to have a freezing leg cut off? Can I come on set? Yeah. No. <laughs> How many volunteers do you need? We just need two volunteers. Okay, I okay. want two volunteers and I want them to be Brazilian. <laughs> <laughs> okay, two Brazilians. Come here all stage. Very specific requests there. Yes, because I know, Brazil, are you out there? I know Brazil is watching us. You know, we have a huge following in Brazil, so. All right, uh, hurry, right, come hurry, on hurry. Up, come on we, up. We wanna, we wanna make this quick and painless. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I right, hop, hop on stage here. Okay, walk to the stairs, that's fine as well. <laughs> there you go. All right, they're yours. Okay, thank you. Uh, what are your names, what's your name? Beatrice. Beatrice? Rodrigo. Rod Rodrigo? Yeah. Okay. Uh, Tim, you, let's go set him yeah. up. I think you have to walk over there. He's going yeah. to sort of. Right. <laughs> who's going to be the controller human and who's going to be the controlled human? Do you want to control him? <laughs> you can be the controller human. I think it'll work better with Very the gender dynamics. All right. Who uh, wants to be controlled here? Tell us if you need to, uh, some help. Uh, I need your forearm exposed. I got you. I'll, talk. I'll hold it up for yeah. you. Yeah. Yes. I'll, I'll do the mic for these two guys. Only one. All right. okay. All right. Exposing a forearm Ooh. here. Yeah. yeah. It's a little Spanglish. Spanglish. <laughs> Antibrazo expuesto. All right. <laughs> All right. So we're going to record the electrical activity of your flexor muscle up here. All right. So. The electrical activity of your muscles is about one millivolt. Move it this or they, As or the such, we need to uh, it, yeah. amplify it to one millivolt to one volt, which is a circuit here that Greg has designed. The output of this circuit is then going to an Arduino that is analyzing the impulses, and when she squeezes your hand, she's also controlling the lights. You can see the lights here. squeezes and achieves a certain level, we're going to turn on uh, a nerve stimulator. So your brain is going to control your muscles, which will control your nerve, which will affect your brain. All right. All right. All right. Thank you. You're still there? Thank you got you. it? All right. Well, all, right. all right, so we need, we have your 
Antibrazo expuesto. I think if, if you move over there, the, cam the camera can see your arm. Perfect. And, and just, yeah, there you go. <laughs> Squeeze in here. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> okay, so. Yeah, Levitate so your arm. This is when it comes right, in handy to have long arms. Right. Yes, please. All right. So I'm going to put two electrodes over your ulnar nerve here. Uh, your ulnar nerve is the nerve closest to the surface of your skin. It's when you uh, bang your elbow on the door at night. Mm -hmm. In English, it's called a funny bone. I don't know what it's, it's called. It's not funny, though, ever. Not funny. No, it's horrible. <laughs> yeah. That's because the ulnar nerve is being uh, pinched, and you feel that stinging sensation. But we're going to stimulate his ulnar nerve when she contracts. So it doesn't hurt. It just feels a little weird. And I'll put it on really low to begin. OK? All right. <laughs> Thank you. All right, we need the stimulator. Okay. Such punishment All for right. being Brazilian. So, <laughs> so does everyone get what's happening? So when you move your arm, uh, when you move your arm like this, your brain is sending a signal down your spinal cord out to your arm, and we heard that electrical activity that was coming through your from your brain down your spinal cord out to your arm. And now what Tim is doing, he's making a copy of that activity from your brain and sticking it into the arm where his brain, if he were moving his arm, would be sending that out, such that when we connect them together, you will have taken away his free will and replaced it with your brain controlling there you go. Uh, controlling his arm and your arm at the same time. Wow. All right, I'm going to put on pretty loud again. All right, contract. Contract. Do you feel anything? Is the relay activating? When it turns orange, I can't. <laughs> okay. I'm going to turn it on a little bit higher. Is that all right? <laughs> So the audience can see. Okay, I'm gonna turn it up a little bit higher. All right. Oh, wait, wait. Relax. Relax. Chill. Chill. All right. just, just, just call it. You'll have your chance. You know. All right. All right. All right. Uh, not contract. No, no, not really moving much. Do we need to increase the gain? Do we need to increase the gain, Greg? Oh well. Okay. All, right. All right. Contract again. All right. All right. There we go. So, so look away. Look away. Look. All right, now contract. Whoa. <laughs> so you can see we're using a little bit of creativity with uh, recording them, the activity of her muscles oh, and turning whoa. on the stimulator. So now we have linked these two people in a way that they will never, ever forget. So, all right. Thank you for your volunteer. <laughs> Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you so much. <laughs> You're a great sport, Rodrigo. Thank you. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, that was Backyard Brains. You're, they are still here tomorrow. Working awesome. with the kids, so you want you gonna catch up with them tomorrow. Any final words for us? Uh, yeah, so this is only the beginning, so we can control many other muscles in your body uh, through many <laughs> other means. Just depends on your disposition and your personality. So wait, wait till next year. <laughs> thank you so much. Thank you. And thank guys. you for coming out to campus party. Much appreciated. We love having you here. <laughs> I'm going by there tomorrow. Okay, now I have something for you. New free pizza, and it's here. So if yes. you're hungry, come grab a piece while the next speaker comes on stage. Yes. Come grab a pizza. Um, and Peter van Bohemen, where are you? Where are you? Don't be shy. Grab oh, a no, box. No, no, no. Take a box take and it to share your row. it. Grab a box, take it to your row. <laughs> share it with your neighbors. Don't take all the boxes because there's quite a few. Oh, we've got an audience uh -huh. here now. <laughs> you know, free pizza is the key to life, apparently. Yes. T take a whole box and share it with your road, so you can t you yeah. sit back there and then, uh, yeah. But share it. <laughs> take a box take, and make Take friends. it back to your row and you share it with your neighbors. Okay, we are looking for our next speaker. Peter, where are you? We miss one whole speaker. Okay, we have a pizza moment here anyway, yes. so somebody's Brief running around pizza now. intermission. Yeah. <laughs> oh, there's such love and sympathy love going that, on here. I love that, the sharing. You know? yeah. It's like, know you, know you, know you first. <laughs> know you first. <laughs> You're polite people you are. I love it. <laughs> yeah. We've got a couple more slices here and some beverage left. Mm -hmm. Some beverage. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> I see a lot of happy pizza faces now. Oh, and a lot of pictures being taken as well. Free pizza campus party. I'm going to search <laughs> for them uh, when I walk off the stage. All right, Kitty, where is Peter? Because we want him here. I think she might have found... What was Peter up to today? I think, I think she, he's doing the, <laughs> he's doing the sci science uh, finale over there. And, and now quickly handing over the microphone. Running to the stage. <laughs> Peter van Boheme, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. Yes, there he is, there he is. There. It's Give okay, it we had free pizza to kill the time. Come on stage. Um, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, Peter van Boheme, take your time, take your time. It's fine. No, munching away on pizza. Peter, that, thank you so much. Urgency, <laughs> Come on in, you can stand right here in the middle. Yeah, stand yeah. in the middle. This is Peter van Bohemen, who's been doing biotic games. But first, let's see the video. Yeah, you can watch it on the Second screen Second video here can run right now. Ah, a biotic game. You have to tell us what it is. What, what are we seeing here? Oh, we have a, yeah, yeah. Keep it close yeah, to your mouth. Give us the voiceover. Yeah. Oh, those are the participants of the workshop <laughs> working on uh, making microscopes out of webcams and then making their own software to analyze the movement of uh, microbes. And the movement can be controlled by LEDs that are next to the microscope. And thereby you can create a game. You can make the microbes go left and right. You can see that on the screen. And uh, we can make games like Pac-Man, like Space Invader, like uh, uh, Bubble Breaker. And actually what they're presenting on that stage at the moment is uh, the <laughs> outcomes. You had a double booking. Double booking, <laughs> nice. somehow. A gender conflict, yeah. nice. <laughs> I mean, cool. the, the world is getting more fun, right? I mean, a few years ago it was all screen, screen, screens, and now it's 3D printed stuff and, and biotic games. And so this is the animal hour. Yeah, finally. <laughs> so it's biology, it's electronics, it's breaking stuff. Yeah, I mean, the physical world is much more fun than, than screens. Uh, but what is, what, what is, did anybody here make a game? Was anybody here in the workshop? Not all over there. Some, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, you in the of workshop. course. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, well, we'll send you back no. in a minute. No, um, games really pushed the, the development of computers really hard forward. Like gamers wanted to have better hardware. And now it's time for biology that gamers start to move into that field and really demand for better tools and uh, yeah, start to discover things by playing. Now, what kind of uh, animals are you using? We're using uh, Euglenia, which are uh, somewhere in between animals and plants. So they, uh, they are able to move and detect their environment, also the amount of light. And, and, uh, and it's the most fun they've had in their whole life, right? I mean, yeah. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> things I mean, are happening, lights are going on and off, it's a carnival for yeah, them. Yeah, it's also kind of confusing, <laughs> they have to go left, they have to go right. Yeah. But we can turn them into Pac-Man and then uh, they can have fun. Yeah. <laughs> Very cool. Very cool. I want to I want to go play. I'm ready to go jump back off the stage with you over there, yeah. man. All right. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank well, you. Are you st you still No, you were the workshop for us today and this is the end of the This is the end. Yeah. So I, sp I spent the whole, from 4 o'clock till 10, so it was uh, 6 hours straight. Okay. <laughs> building and After hacking. this talk show, go over there and see if you can still play a game, right? Yeah. Go check it out. Yeah. Thank you so very much. Cool. Thank you. Thank you, Peter. <laughs> Bye. One other thing. We have one other thing, and then we have finales, winners from the challenge. Mm. The one other thing is drones. Lars, where are you? Come on stage. What's um, life without drones yes. and bugs? You know, these are the guys with the red shirts. Has, has anybody went, go, gone out there to the drone racing today? Yeah. Oh, let's see the video. Let's see the video. Can we have? Yes. So th this was the announcement, right? This, this was inviting people. Lars, can you tell us what was happening there? What, what, what is this game you're playing out there? Well, this game, I think, is uh, one of the newest uh, sports in the world. And uh, the way that we see it now, we've been starting uh, for... Uh, we started about a year ago. Uh, really small, in the Yarbers here, with a couple of pilots. 
And now we're here uh, at Campus Party with some of the world's best uh, drone racers uh, competing for an international cup. So yeah, we've grown. Wow. And we see this uh, as a new uh, spectacle and you know, with a lot of lights and sounds and audio. Uh, there's a lot of media and press, etc. So it's really interesting uh, in several ways. So uh, tell us about, you, you made this whole trek in the venue, right? So it's indoor and it's a huge trek. So what is the, they have to go under over and yeah, go as fast as they can? Indoor is lit completely. So we have an LED strip, which is basically their guideline. Their guideline to fly because they fly FPV, they fly with a goggles on. They fly at around 120 k an hour. Today the record time was 14 seconds to fly 250 meters, which is really fast. Uh, so why do we have bad signal on our f uh, uh, big LED wall? It's because they fly with analog video signals with no delay because they fly so fast. So we're looking forward to get high definition quality inside their Google so they can fly better. But it's also a part of the game with bad transmission to fly that fast through all the corners. It's, it's interesting to see, it's interesting to do. And also for young kids to fly so fast. And uh, the track is beautiful designed with up, down curves. And also for all classes, we got pilots from uh, who, who were flying in Dubai, around five of them. We got people from Germany, France, Belgium, and the Netherlands flying here. So that's great. Yeah. Okay, that's good. And, and it's, it, the only thing is speed, right? I mean, it's how fast you go. It's not that, like how elegant you can fly. It's not like no, you know, it's figure skating, it's, it's speed skating. It's definitely more than speed. It, there's yeah. a lot of skill uh, needed. Uh, a huge dose of concentration, uh, power, uh, you have to be physically uh, uh, healthy and uh, it, it, it's, it's really a difficult sport. Just uh, being able to use the PlayStation is not enough for this. Uh, it's a combination of speed and, and skill and also dealing with uh, a fast uh, changing uh, situation. Like if you have the video goggle, so it's not a VR goggle, it's an analog video signal. If you ha have it right here in front of you and you see a flag or a gate in front of you and there's a lot of glitch in it, yeah, you have to react very fast. So th that's really one of the skills that, that, that you also need with that. Excellent. So big question is then, when is the finale? Well, we had a two qualification round today and uh, there's one more tomorrow starting at 8 a.m. Ooh. And from 2 p.m. 8 a.m.? 8 a.m. From 8 a.m. So <laughs> really? After the, so after <laughs> this sense. talk, we'll be going uh, back home. Okay. Um, so from uh, 2 p.m. tomorrow, we'll have the finales, quarterfinal, semifinal, and final. And uh, truly, we have some of the world's best drone races there. So check it out. Come and watch or uh, check out Facebook uh, Formula FPV. That's us. But we hope to see you there tomorrow. Okay. In Thank hall, you so in much. In hall number three. Yeah, and the <laughs> final number three. and the finals are with four pilots at the same time. So now we do qualifiers with one drone on the track, and then we will fly with four drones on the track. So that's even more crashing. It's a spectacular moment. Four uh, drones yeah. doing the final. Yeah. It's good. There you go. Go watch it tomorrow. Round four ish, right? Yeah, something like that. <laughs> hall Thank number you three so tomorrow. Much. Tomorrow. Awesome. Thank you guys. Yes. So th there's actually quite a bit of uh, drones in the program. We also have. Uh, we have people that do it for fun, but we also have people flying drones to observe wildlife and make sure they're fine, you know. So, drones for all. good. Drones for drones, good. Drones, bugs, romance. Exactly. Campus party. Now, finale time. Who here was in one of the challenges? Wow, well, good. Okay. okay. Quite a few people, actually. Okay. I know. So you have people that come watch speakers, you have people that play games, and you have people that make things. We like those, right? I like it. I love yeah. it. So I'm going to call them on stage, and then maybe you ask them what they've done. Because I, yes, let's you know. do it. So let's have on stage all the people involved, the winners and the people that offered it, if they're still around. Some of them went home to sleep. On the Rabobank Challenge. Who are they? Financial Services. Okay, you can give ah, them a round of applause good. as they make their way. Join us here. All right. <laughs> what is it? Is this it? Oh, that's an award. Ooh, that's a in, big award. That's a real award. <laughs> they, well, no, let's, let's. All right. So, you were, is anybody from you from the Rabobank or you? Ah, there's Rabobank. All right. You so fellas can just come right stage <laughs> center with your award. This is great. Stay let's there, just, stay there. Let's just let's try first, it right here. Yeah. I want to stand next to your award too. Yeah, die mag, die mag nu. Uh, yeah. Uh, 
Um, okay, awesome. You tell us first what the challenge was, and then you question what they did. Right. Well, the challenge was, uh, what you see in uh, banking is that uh, money is coming more and more digital, and we wanted to create a financial sense, so uh, like a, a sense of, for money for people to, uh, well, to be more uh, aware of, of money and spending of money. So that was the challenge. So, so, so awesome. it's like you do one of those backyard brain things on your arm, and any time you try to get that credit card out, it sort of <laughs> twitches and... That, that could be an option, yeah. Okay. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you asked them. So, okay, maybe, maybe that's not what they came up with, but let's hear what they did. Yeah. I'm, I'm intrigued. Let's start with you. Tell us a little bit about what you all did for the challenge. Or, uh, he's your spokesperson. Uh, Got it. I like that you planned this out before you came up. Tell us where you're from as well, because we, we like to know that. Sorry? Where are you from? Your name and where you're from? Uh, I'm Roland, and I'm uh, from uh, The Hague. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah, we uh, participated in the challenge of the Rabobank. Um, we created an application that should give insight and overview uh, um, of your financial transactions. And uh, we used the Watson API to, uh, yeah, to find patterns in your transactions and to give you uh, financial advice so to prevent you from making bad financial decisions. So, uh, excellent, excellent. What's next now that you've got the award? Yeah, what did you win? Um, what did you win? Yo, we won a couple of things. I uh, this to <laughs> present to yep. your mother, and yes. <laughs> one of us can go to uh, New York. Uh, to one, of, work. one of them? <laughs> oh, <laughs> nah. I mean, three of them to London in that happens. case, right? I mean, <laughs> no. <laughs> you know, hand over your heart. This, 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 this can be done. Yeah, go on. So you headed <laughs> to New York next, and what's, what else? Yeah. Yeah, uh, and uh, we also got uh, a brace, uh, uh, some kind of fit band uh, to uh, that can warn you from uh, yeah, <laughs> stuff you buy. <laughs> very, very cool. What sparked the idea? Um, yeah, the challenge was already about uh, preventing people from making bad financial decisions. And uh, we got the information that we could use Watson API and the Rabobank API. And... Um, yeah, and we looked at the possibilities of Watson and uh, about this artificial intelligence it has, and uh, we just feed it with data and, and we went so looking for patterns. So you actually build it? You actually got a prototype together? Yeah, yeah, we built, uh, we integrate Watson. You're our guys, you know, that, that's what we need. Real programming and coding. Excellent. Yeah. I think you should all stand together. We step away, and then a photo the picture, with the the award. picture moment is in order, and you all have to say, hold the mic. yay! So, so one, two, three. Yay! Did somebody take a picture? <laughs> okay, again, 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 again. One, two, three. Yay! Thank you so much. Awesome work, guys. <laughs> Thank you, Rabobank, Congratulations for organizing. And, and, and give them three tickets, really. <laughs> okay, that's it. <laughs> Thank you so much. All right, the second one is the Achmea Challenge. Achmea, where are you guys? Ooh, Ooh big awesome, team again. Awesome. <coughs> Sorry. There you go. You go in the middle and we'll stand sort of. Right here. Is, is there an Achmea? Oh, that's the VIP Achmea uh, pass. The, the yes. The last one. <laughs> the VIP. Okay. What was this challenge about? And oh, grab a mic here. Sorry. Keep it close to your mouth. Does it work? Yes. Okay. We, uh, we had two challenges, but there's only from one challenge people are here. So I'll only talk about this one. We had a challenge about pensions. Uh, our, the problem that we have is that no one finds a pension interesting. <laughs> Uh, and people start too late thinking about their pension and then start to think, oh, if only we had known before. We could have started 50, earlier. I know. I mean. So we've asked people here, can you help us with some kind of idea on how we can get people interested? Not, not necessarily interested in, in their pension, but how can we get people to save for their pension? Awesome. And, and of all the challenges out there, you guys thought, this is our challenge. This is what we want to do. They, they even wanted to go home <laughs> until they heard about this challenge. That's it. Share with us a little bit about how you came up with your idea and who you are and where you guys are from. Yeah. I'm David. I'm from Romania. Uh, he's Sam. Okay. I'm Sam. I'm from Holland. 
Um, I'm Ramon. I'm from Holland too, from Houten. <laughs> I'm Jordi. I'm from the Netherlands. And we have one more colleague missing. He's from Taiwan. His, his name awesome. is Seng Yi. And uh, we thought about making it very easy. Like, you wouldn't even think about it. <laughs> so, usually, uh, young people just spend their money. And the way we thought it, they, if they spend their money, they won't have any savings. But by using our solution, you can, when, while you spend money, you save money. A small percentage, uh, which you decide how much it is from the spending you make every month, it goes to your pension directly. And then you have like uh, a small amount saved into a savings account. And because you also continually do this for a longer time, you save like maybe 1,000 euro in your account and you got rewards for that. Like you could get a, a free month uh, subscription for Netflix or other kinds of services, which people enjoy already now, not only thinking about their pension when they're old, but have a little joy today. So Very you, good. you yeah. spend today, save for later, and enjoy today. Very nice. I like that. Clever. And it's called Be Sparta. <laughs> it's called what? Be Sparta. And, and did I you think it. it up or did you sort of put something together to show? And uh, yeah, we have a solution on the website. If we have a computer, we could show it. Ah, well, they don't The domain, it it's now, uh, not the one we're using right now, but if anyone wants to have a look, it's the labs.xyz. <laughs> it's net, okay. Yeah, but XYZ. We'll, we'll put it on the website, definitely. And well, if anyone wants to give us any kind of feedback, we're open to talk. We're going to be here in front. On money. But what was the award? Awesome. What uh, yeah, win? the award was 2,500 euros. So like 500 euros for each of us to travel. Oh, very much nice. better than free yeah. pizza. Nice. You know, that's well real done, money. <laughs> very well done. Very well done. Okay, same thing, guys. Oh, yeah. I say and one, two, up. three, and you all go. One, two, three. Yay! <laughs> you got it? Okay. <laughs> Celebration. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, there's not a second. Okay. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you so much, guys. Woo! We have two more to go. But the first one we do it com comes from a, a software company. So, where are the team and representatives of Exact? No? Where are the team from the Rabo Food and Agri Challenge? Oh, All right, here very we go. silent, but they're Another here, award. they're here, they're I here. <laughs> I love these big awards. Hey. <laughs> well, you know He's the back. question. He's back again. <laughs> so what was this challenge all about? Well, this challenge, this was the second challenge. As the Bank, we are the biggest financing of food and agriculture in the world. And we want to do more for sustainable uh, food chains. And we had a challenge in the dairy uh, uh, environment. Uh, so this is, they can talk all about what they uh, built, because it's amazing what they, uh, what they have accomplished with a lot of big data. Whoa. Okay, Holly, you question said, them. He said amazing, so I'm excited to hear this. You can prop your award down. We can put it at your toes. We'll start with you, introduce yourself and where you're from, and then tell us what you came up with. So my name is Adriana. I come from Poland. Hi, I'm Gerald, and I'm from the Philippines. And I'm Celia from Italy. Hey, international team, international men and women, team. and doing on Very nice. the agriculture industry. Go ahead. So what did you come up with? Tell us about your idea, your solution. All right, so we came up with Happy Cows. It's a software application for farmers to better manage their cows. And, <laughs> yeah. Happy Cows, how does it work? <clears throat> yeah, so how does it work? It's very easy. So um, what we do is we use predictive analytics. So we have um, some sensors for the cows on the like, temperature of their milk and in their rumination, how they chew. We have all these sensors already. Um, actually, the farmers have all the data that they need. They just need insights, okay? So what we did was uh, we had the data analytics team uh, to crunch the data and to make meaningful analysis of what uh, those data mean. So like, for example, they have a problem with the feed. 
um, when they feed the cow badly, uh, it will reflect on the cow six weeks after that the milk is not good. And then the, the farmer will uh, change the feed. But then he doesn't know the correlation because it affects uh, six weeks after. So all this information needs uh, some kind of software analytics, and that's what we want to solve. Very nice. Did you create a prototype here today? Yes, we create a prototype. We have a surface designer. Uh, he's not here. But yeah, we, it's a sleek, sleek, easy to use. So for like in the day the farmer wakes up, it organizes everything. So it predicts that, that if, for example, it will rain in the afternoon, so he needs to harvest his, uh, the grass for the cow earlier on. And then it will also detect which cow is not healthy, so he will provide more care. So that can also save man hours, three man hours a week, and um, lower maintenance, less need for antibiotics. And happy cow leads to a happy farmer and happy farm. Wow. <laughs> you are right. So happy, this is right? It's so happy. All Great of the happiness. Well. I love so, it. So what did they win? Like a ticket to what? <laughs> Several tickets. Yeah, we got visit to the Orange Factory in Bangkok for a three-week workshop for two people. What? No! No! Oh, no! This can't go! So it's Hunger Games for us, Dairy Games. Oh, oh, oh. I mean, we're going to collect money from the audience if you go on like this. I mean... Okay, think again. This was awesome, you said, right? Yes. Okay, I'm sure, Amazing. I'm sure somewhere at Rabobank there's a little pocket of money where you can sort of... Honestly. Okay. You know, you know what we want to do now, right? Yes. I say one, two, three, and you go... Give them more money. Oh, no. One, two, three. Yay! <laughs> okay, we need to do it again. We need to get it. One, two, three. Yay! <laughs> Cheers to happy much. cows. Well done. Well congrats, done. Congrats, congrats. Excellent Thank you. work. Okay, now just to be sure, because apparently the exact challenge is not in the room, are there any other winners in the audience at the moment? Because if there are, we're going to get you here on stage. Technically, everyone in the audience is a winner. You're American. You're American, right? Totally. <laughs> I'm about happy cows and happiness <laughs> and everyone winning and romance. <sighs> and cockroaches. Okay, I, I, I and got a question here. Again. Is happiness an American thing? <laughs> Winning. That's not true. Everyone in America is not a winner. So, this is, guys, this is serious. I'm not kidding. I'm not kidding. You remember the catch box? The blue thing? Green. <laughs> Only been throwing it for three days. It's gone. Uh, somebody's taken it. Or it is somewhere under your chairs. Have a look. It's out of the hole. Oh, come on. So if you catch anybody in their tents whispering into the catch box, report them. No, honestly, m make sure it comes back if Please you see it. Please return it. Return eh, it. Eh, annoying. No, oh. stealing is not the winning thing to do. Turns okay, out. but we, we need to end on a happy note. And I've asked, and I didn't even specify, some dancing music to end with. Because we have another day tomorrow. You'll have fun tonight. Community program, things to do, tents, Utrecht. We'll see you back tomorrow for the last program day of Campus Party. But for now, get up, stand up. And what music do we have? <laughs> music? We don't need music. We need a happy cow theme song. I, 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 just a beat. Oh, okay. There's, a, there's music coming, oh, apparently. Better. A band. A but, band but will tune us out. It's taking some time, yes. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, it was a pleasure. See you back tomorrow morning. Oh! Okay, it's mellow. Is it Brazilian? See you here tomorrow happy, morning right? for the final day. Okay. Uh, sure. Of course, Rodrigo. Brazil! Oh, I Come love on Brazil. stage! <laughs> we need a Brazilian moment here. I love Brazil.
<laughs> oh, oh, okay. Let's see the Brazilians, you know, shake their booty. You have the flag? Yes, with the flag. Hey, you're not very tall. I gotta come to Brazil. I gotta come to Brazil. Yeah.